in Philadelphia, Citizens Bank Park. Tuesday baseball on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the mound today, Aaron Nola. What do we have on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Charlie Blackman stands in now and watches strike one. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Got it. And that's the first out. Yeah, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle so I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies and first offering is fouled off Nola 30 years old now a former first round pick back in 2014. One out, base is empty. Line drive. Makes a nice running catch. And there's two away. Not Time to check out the Rockies lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Ball. Ryan okay. McMahon, the next to hit, takes ball one. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. That just misses. And now 3-0. and And a four-pitch walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. McMahon leads off first with two down to the inning. Two outs. And they'll do it again. The 0 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. And that's outside. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. The 1-2. Oh. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Evidently not too impressed with that call, and it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner, so he's making his case. You've got to be careful to pick your spots in terms of showing your frustration with the umpire, and he felt this was his time. Bounce to the left side. 
They get the He's force, out. and that is that. The Rockies strand one, and now it's the Phillies' turn. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, and on the hill in this one, Nick Mears. Well, just a three-pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter, so always very important for him to have a good feel and command yeah, all three. Really Sometimes you can make that three look like it. four if oh, you yeah. add or subtract a little bit of velocity. Oh, yeah. But, you know, one thing about it, it can be easy to get too predictable out there on the mound. So hitters are aware of that. Mixing those three pitches at all counts is going to be a big key for him in this one. Kyle Schwarber in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Starts him off with the breaking ball, which isn't surprising. They're trying to keep him off balance, but he's been known to connect on the breaking stuff, too. The 1-0. -oh. On the ground, right side. And he takes You're it himself out. for the out. That and got time it. now for the Phillies lineup. Of course, a big piece for them is their DH, Kyle Schwarber. Well, these days, we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so, you know, they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Trey Turner stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Bounce to the right. Tosses to yeah. first. And a couple of quick outs. Hey, man, four that pitches, is two outs. That the is an base excellent base. pace. Right. Harper. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Bryce Harper. And that's in for a strike. And a pitch. High fly ball, shallow right field. Tolia has it sized up. And that'll do it. We played an inning. No score. here in Philadelphia all set for the start of the inning now here's Nolan Jones Nola back to work it's always fun watching Nola pitch he's one of the best pitchers in the league because he knows how to control a baseball he's got excellent command of his pitches which keeps his walk rate low and helps keep him out of trouble and there's a foul ball And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. And now here is a Lowry's Montero. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. On the ground. Gets it to first. Two, two up, two down at the top of the second. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Michael Tolia. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And yeah, the ball. first offering okay. is not close. Two outs, space is empty. Right through there for a strike.
good oh. eye in that spot. Two and one. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Under it. And that's the third out. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's the speedy catcher, JT Real Muto. Real Muto. And he deals. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. And that one clips the corner. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boo. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. And a swing and a miss. Singing what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. That's back. That one is good. That should put a jolt into this whole crowd. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark Brandon Marsh steps to the plate oh yeah, that's outside oh he's just got to delete it you give up that lead off home run go back to work focus on this next batter And the 1-0. No. Wouldn't chase that time. Mears, maybe a little no less strike. aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Righty delivers. There's a strike. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner. Every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. At the belt and finals. Ground ball to the right side. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every strikeout is a perfect slider put down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Big swing and a miss. Oh, and one. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Sizing this one up. Makes the grab. And there's one away. The second baseman, right there. This is Bryson Stock. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Field, field, 
Runner takes off. Strike in there. For the second, he's safe. Really nice swipe for second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. The 0 1. Foul ball there. Man at second. That one the other way. Gets down. Base hit. Around third. He'll score. And they lead by two. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. Strike one. No ball. One strike. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two runs across in the inning. Bottom half of inning number two. One ball. He's in the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Right hander kicks deals. Oh. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Oh, Breaking ball inside. And now it's three and two. This one popped up. And it falls. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Looper, Flair, Duck Scored, Lawn Dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Johan Rojas will hit next. That oh, one close, oh. ruled a ball. And that is ball one. Two on, one out. And yeah, another ball. ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Pulls that one foul. Stop on second. Merrifield at first. One gone. Especially with two strikes. And that one in the air center field. Doyle gets under it. Makes the grab. Two down. 
now batter, the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Curveball drops in there. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Left-hand batter waits. Just no, off the outside edge. One, One and two, two to count. Kicks and fires. Two and two. This one in the dirt. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. First and second, two down. Wouldn't chase that time. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Good job to fight that one off. Here comes a pitch. Popped up. Diaz makes the play, and that is that. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Phillies two, and the Rockies nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third the inning. Here's the, the center, center fielder, Brenton, Brenton Doyle. Doyle. The wide to kick the pitch. That one ripped. Castellanos going back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Man, boy, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall and make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Alan Trejo, the next to hit, takes outside. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. One down, base is empty. That one finds the zone, and it's a ball to strike. Inside just missed. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. 3-1 now. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Now it's Charlie Blackman. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. The Rockies trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Ball and one. takes low for ball one. side there's one return to the first got him double play and that'll do it no runs one hit no errors and no one left we move on to the bottom of inning number three it's the Phillies two and the Rockies nothing
And we're back. Leading now the number the two hitter, Trey Turner. Shortstop. Turner. And the right hitter back to work. Hey, partner, back in 2023, Turner homered off the same pitcher twice in the same inning. Only a few players have ever done it, and his were against his former team, the Washington Nationals. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Just missed. And that one just missed off the outside edge. You know, these Phils do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count. And they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and lead off batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the batter on the shoulder. Harper batting for the second time, and that's strike one. The pitch fought off foul. Some pretty good break to it, as you can see. The hitter just now up a little bit. Here. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Real Muto in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there, it looks pretty good. If he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The pitch up oh. and in, and the count is one and one. Turner, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. Nice. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one two. Ball. two strike. Here it comes. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And the right hater deals. Two balls. Two strikes. To third. McMahon oh. to second, and Three that's down. two. Nothing doing for the offense that time. On to inning number four. It's the Phillies two and the Rockies nothing. at Citizens Bank Park out of the fourth so in now for Colorado Ezekiel Tovar the right hander back to work Tovar 22 years old and he was born in Venezuela the wind in the pitch lifted in the air right field Castellanos makes the catch one away Up next to Colorado. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Ryan. He reached out a walk his first time. I never got to play at Citizens Bank Park in my career. Just the old veteran stadium in Philadelphia, but the crowds here are just as energetic now as they were at that old park. And trust me, as an outfielder visiting town, you're going to hear it from the fans out there in the bleachers. Ball, two 
Very close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a man aboard now with one away. The catch and now it's Elias Diaz. He's all for one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. The left one, number 22. Now Nolan. at the plate, Nolan Jones. Jones. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. up Merrifield in pursuit and makes the grab and that is that so no runs here on a base hit no errors and one left and midway in the fourth it's the Phillies two and the Rockies nothing ready to go Bottom four. and now for the Phillies Brandon Marsh And a pitch. And that one is inside ball one. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. He swings and fouls one off. pitch swing and a liner foul off to the right and there's a ball Kicks and deals. Line to left, and it no, goes no, 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 just foul. foul. And the pitch. Careful. And that's in the dirt. Side, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Castellanos takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. Swing and a pop up. Trejo makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now it's going to be Bryson Stock. Single and drove in a run his first time through. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. That's just a perfect catch and throw right there. You get a guy with that kind of speed trying to take second. He's got such a good arm back there, but that had to be on the money. Pressure situation, if you will, right on top of it. Two down, nobody on. Nope, that's off the plate. That's right, good idea.
And he hits a ground ball right side. Trejo. That's the inning. New inning getting started. And here's the first baseman, Elauris Montero. Montero. The pitch. Just oh. off the inside edge. Well, these Rockies need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. Tolier the in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And a 1-1. One -one. And that's outside. Still two and two after the foul ball. The line of the pitch. This okay. is off the inside. And now three and two. It easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Runner on at first with one gone. Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. Wouldn't chase that time. Man at first, one away. Deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Ball will throw to first. No, he's and he's back in safely. And another ball. to the plate. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or a oh, oh, Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. On the ground right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. It's the Phillies two, and the Rockies nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Now the third baseman, Whit Merrifield. Mears, back to work. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Ryan Feltner getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Freeland also throwing. The 1-0. -oh. 
Hammer down the right side, but foul. The 1 1. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. The pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Perfectly executed 12 6 curveball right there. And with that oh, kind of break, if you can drop it in below the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching wedge. Rojas stands in now and looks at that one inside. This one in the air right field. Tolia trying to get there. Puts it away for the out. Now back, the, the dedicated hitter, Kyle. Kyle Schwarber stands Whoa. in for the Phillies. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boog, light tower power. That's right. That one, one not close. And yeah, that's ball one. Some Schwarber power for you right there. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Trey Turner with a chance now. First pitch swinging. Oh, and one. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. Last half of inning number five. One Not one. even close there. And yeah, the count even one and one. That one almost got him. The two one. Oh. Just missed. Bryce Harper on deck for the Phils. Check swing went around and that is strike two. Payoff pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Tovar should have this one. Brings it in for the third out. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now three nothing. Top of the sixth inning. Here's Blackman. Charlie Blackman. The designated hitter. Charlie Blackman. And the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to the left. Turner with the throw to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Yeah. 
So up next, Ezekiel Tovar. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Ball one, one, no strikes. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Marsh under this one. Nabs it. Two down. The third base is number 24. Ryan. And here is McMahon. Ryan McMahon. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Oh, no, he doesn't get the, the call. One and oh. This guy plays okay. third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and One makes ball. really tough plays look very easy. Gets him to chase after that one. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? So that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Phillies three, and the Rockies nothing. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Kyle Freeland. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Three, four, five, do up for the home team. Bryce Harper to the plate. Harper. And a pitch. Ball one to Bryce. Movement in the bullpen. Ryan Feltner appears to be getting loose. And now the lefty. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Reno. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take it well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Yeah, the hitter really didn't really offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over first. JT Real Muto steps in. He launched the solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off on the right foot. On the ground, two ball. Trejo quickly to second for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. Swinging a foul straight back. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself yep, to the bag, down. and that'll do it. Back here in Philadelphia, and here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. The Rockies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. First pitch misses. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jeff Hoffman, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Dominguez also getting ready. And the righty deals. Finds its way through base hit. 
Man aboard on the leadoff single. The left one, number 22, Nolan. Next to him for the Rockies, Nolan Jones. Swing and a miss, strike one. No if you're going to get one something straight. going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Diaz, the board here at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. Once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch, Adam Fool. Montero up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is 2-0. through there for a strike goodness I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat you don't get many like that in that location I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound that one ripped left field and out of here his first homer of the year and they throw a pair on the board it's 3-2 they needed that one singing Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Now, Michael Tolia. Bounced up the middle. Dives, and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a throw, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Aaron Nola's day comes to an end. Gave him a good effort as he exits with a lead, and we'll have a new pitcher when we come back. New pitcher on now, Junior Marte. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. Oh. And that one missing low. What an Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. On the ground right side, four, six, three, and he beats it. Good hustle, and the inning continues. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's the second baseman, Alan Trejo, one for two. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. Okay. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Boo. Two outs. And that one fouled off. One one now. Runner on the goal. 
Out towards right center field. Rojas on the move to the gap. He's got it. And that is that. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. It's now a 3-2 ball game. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tyler Kinley. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Well, one run game. Nick Castellanos digs in now. The pitch. Kinley in his sixth season. He features a slider, a four seamer, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Kicks and fires. That one rip, but foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. Righty delivers. Next offering misses down and away. Bounce to the right side. He'll do it himself. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now that second, second baseman, baseman. right there. Stop. Next to hit, Bryson Stock. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. This one high in the air to left center. Jones sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's two away. Now about it. Third baseman. And now, Whit Merrifield. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. And that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Waste no time there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Rojas in the box again. Takes a strike. Merrifield off the of first with two away. Right through there for a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Deal two. That's the third. McMahon. They take the force out. Third out, and that ends the frame. One hit, one left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Phillies three and the Rockies two. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jeff Hoffman. He's been so good against lefties. So the batting order turns over. There's Chuck Nasty. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Here comes a pitch. That one misses, and that's ball one. One and Looking to get the tying run on base. And he takes one right on the black. And the count one and one. On the ground the first. 
And he handles it himself for the out. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this, positioned perfectly. Ezekiel Tovar now at the plate. Shortstop takes a ball. One ball, no strike. Nope. Close, oh, but called a ball. Now two and zero. Oh. One plate umpire is trying to tighten things up a little bit. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. And, and the count two and one. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. I'll tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. <laughs> zone right there they look really good coming in but so hard to get on top of as a hitter Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies swinging a foul back that's out of play the healthy cut tough pitch at 98 really good pass at the ball holding on to a one run lead and we're in the top of the eighth Next offering is foul back. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Rockies are down quietly. They're down 3 to 2. through that well you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider if you're on the mound you just want to expand the zone right now get a swing and miss and get through this at bat slice the other way that's a base hit Field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here's Harper now. One and oh. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. with that distraction and the speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitters count well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in misses. Okay. 
And it's 3-0. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. The hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Next offering is in for a strike. Check on the runner. Turner back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And Belton fires. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for. Up there. And now it is JT Real Muto. Breaking ball inside. Ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Clips the corner. That pitch gets the inside corner, and the count is one and two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Chases that one out of the zone. And there's two down. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And it drops in. Throw in holds the lead runner at third. So it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Kind of just punts it out there the other way. Didn't hit it real hard, but he got just enough of it to dunk it behind the infield. And I'll tell you what, you'll take those every day you can get them. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Fouled off. He was late. Yeah, now the one that clips the corner. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And that's outside. Now one and two. Right-handed reliever. Wouldn't chase that time. one to the right side and it's just foul that was close two outs on a line and that's the inning so they load the bases but leave them stranded through eight full it's the Phillies three and the Rockies two Jose Alvarado. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. And you see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. That's out to center field. And there's one down. Such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in.
Jones in the box now. Takes strike one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 